What's up, heavy duty crew? <clears throat> it is the 30th, it is 15 days from our last leg session. I am training legs today. Uh, and no, I will not be doing uh, squat club pulls with this attachment. I'm actually going to do something for biceps real quick. So I was thinking earlier today, I was watching some Mike Mincer clips on the YouTubes. Well, they just popped up in my feed, you know, because the algorithm knows me and whatnot. But he was talking about a problem area that I have, which is the biceps. Okay? And he was, I had an epiphany while watching this. The primary function of the bicep is to supinate, which means to turn. So here, my bicep is flaccid. If I rotate my wrist or supinate, it contracts. It's long and flaccid. It's hard. It's erect, veiny, bulging. Uh, so I thought about this. Why not take a rope, curl it, and supinate it at the same time? So. The difference being that a regular supinated dumbbell curl is there's actually resistance wanting to unsupinate my roots. But I just had this great epiphany, like, why not try this out? So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, <laughs> I kind of botched the last two weeks as far as lifestyle goes. I've been not sleeping like I should and not eating like I should because. Warhammer 40k Dark Tide is addictive as shit, and I got two kids that are absolutely insane, and they're making me crazy, so I tend to stay up real late and just enjoy myself doing some mindless, brain dead zombie shit. So, no excuses, back on track, been eating like a damn machine. Needless to say, I botched a, uh, a workout Monday, no, this weekend. I attempted to repeat the tricep, the arms, and Wait, was it? Yeah, arms and back. It was not a good workout. Beat some lifts, missed some others. I know the reasons why. It was too soon since the last one. And, uh, you know, I didn't eat. Which is a great way to fucking fail. So, let's try this out too. That's awesome. It's the whole game changer, really. I mean, that, that tension trying to unsupinate my wrist is fighting against me contracting my bicep as hard as possible. And uh, that's awesome. An area I really have trouble with connecting and feeling and coming off of a big injury. I need to bring my arms up, especially this left one, which is atrophied. I feel like this is a great way to just get some in for it. I also have a training partner today who you'll meet shortly. My boy Hayden, he's a local, he's a stud, star athlete, uh, dad, blue collar man. He's taking up the heavy duty life. So let's go for a top set and see what we can do. So all my time is going to be spent in the last three quarters of the movement. I don't need to spend any time in the length and position because there's no resistance there. So back to Mike's video. You know, the, the thing that he was saying was to stay away from the easy crowbar because it doesn't work the biceps. Works the brachialis. And his exact words were, at minimum, you should be using a straight bar. So that made me think, what could I use and supinate with? Well, I've always done supinated dumbbell curls as a staple. But this right here, I'm feeling more in my bicep than probably ever. And I had a very brief warm up. 
There's almost no weight. Oh, oh God. That's failure. I can no longer symphony. Here's the weaker arm. Try not to contract my front belt. It's a big problem I have. This is the problem, bicep. It wanted to just get tired before it could really get as stimulated as I'd like it to be. I might do another little set for this off camera, but this good one feels amazing. I might have some Logan Vidry biceps by the time this is finished. He's that guy over there on the other side of the gym. Oh. 